You're listening and watching the 2012 SCAC Women's Soccer Media Days. Today we're joined by Trinity University head women's soccer coach Lance Key. Uh, Lance, first of all, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us today. It's a pleasure, Jeff. Thanks for setting this up. Uh, Lance, take us through your mindset uh, as you begin your ninth season as, uh, as the head coach of the Tigers. You know, I think one of the big things that we're trying to uh, to continue to emphasize for our girls is just the culture and the evolution of the culture and things that we've tried to establish and prioritize from a day-to-day -day basis, uh, common goals and understandings and values. We talk a lot about character and integrity uh, far often, uh, far more often, I should say, than, than even we talk about the ability to pass and receive. I think that's just such a big part of, of the type of institutions that we have and such a big part of our, of our daily life and, and interaction with these young people and, and certainly a part of our mission to, uh, to enable these young people to, um, to grow and to develop and mature. Um, so we've really been talking a lot about that this preseason, and I think there's just so much carryover and overlap onto the field and into this, you know, into this, this competitive environment. Uh, they're able to, to carry those attributes and those traits, interact with each other within those, and, uh, and, and really just try to be the best that they can be on every level in whatever particular ins uh, you know, instance they're talking about or whatever particular situation they're talking about. They're really putting, a, putting forth their best foot, really trying to be as, as good uh, and as successful as they can be within that environment. Uh, Lance, take us through how the preseason preparations have gone uh, as, as we go into uh, this first, uh, this, as actually the first weekend of competition begins this weekend. How, how did preseason camp go? And, and, and hopefully uh, you guys are able to avoid the injury bug, as, as a lot of coaches I know like to, like to do at this time of year. Yeah, you know, we had a couple, of, a couple of things that were left over from last season that we're dealing with at the beginning of this preseason in terms of, in terms of injury. You know, it always comes down to fitness level and, and the kids' fitness level when they arrive. Uh, and being that we can't really monitor and track that over the course of the summer, you never really know what you're going to get uh, come middle of August. But uh, I would say that I'm, I'm quite happy and impressed with, with our ability to play the game. Um, I've been relatively unimpressed with our, with our physical preparation overall. Uh, so that's something we've really been, been uh, kind of hammering home and just ensuring that the kids understand, listen, this is something that we're going to have to dig ourselves back out of. Uh, not only over the course of the preseason, but certainly the first half of the season, and hopefully a lesson that, that we'll you know, take with us as we move forward to prepare ourselves uh, better uh, when it comes to the physical preparation in future. But you know, I, think, I think the quality of players that we have in, uh, into camp is, is very good. I think, that, um, you know, I think that they have the ability, but as we know, uh, ability doesn't always get you there. There's a lot more to it, which is, as I referred to earlier uh, in the segment, those, those character and integrity issues, I think, have so much to do with it. Um, so we're hoping to tie all that together. Uh, you're listening to the 2012 SCAC Women's Soccer Media Day. Today we're joined by Trinity Head Women's Soccer Coach Lance Key. Uh, Lance, uh, talk to us a little bit about who has stood out uh, thus far during the preseason preparations as you begin, uh, like we said earlier, uh, to, to begin the conference, or not the conference, excuse me, but the season uh, this coming weekend. Who's, who's stood out and who's, who's sort of making, maybe making a little bit of a, a news that you may not have expected to at this point of the season? Well, you know, I think one of our incoming seniors, uh, Lindsay Ewers, who was a newcomer of the year in the conference as a freshman, had a couple of years where she was battling uh, little little nicks and injuries and, and things that kind of held her back, certainly at the beginning of the year, where she was having to, to try to make up a lot of ground. And uh, she really seems to, to be very strong, very healthy, uh, and really playing very well for us uh, in the middle of midfield. And so we're, we're excited about what she's doing. We've bounced her around a couple of different places and looked at her in different areas of the field uh, within different systems, and, and we like what she's doing. You know, I think Jenny White, uh, as, a, as a central defender, really started pretty much every game since she's arrived into our program, now going into her third season, I think is a more mature uh, Jenny White and, and, and a more capable uh, leader within the program. We've got a couple of incoming sophomores that, that played a lot for us last year. Um, Kelsey Falcone and, and Kirby Petticord, uh, for instance, who I think are, are, are solid players and are going to be able to do some special things for us. Um, Emily Jorgen stood out, I think, last year as an incoming player and scored a lot of goals and had some regional recognition and even some All-American recognition, uh, you know, but uh, people know about her. Stephanie Segovia scored a ton of goals for us last year, and then people certainly know about her. But I think what we've really been able to do through the recruiting as well as the development uh, of our players is really try to, to put together a, a more balanced 
equation in terms of what we did. I know, you know, we relied heavily uh, in the past couple of years on the likes of Bobby Lohr and Kelly Watts and their ability to, to create and score goals for us. Uh, but I feel like we, we have a better balance uh, than we've had in years past. And I think when you do that, you take some of that pressure, you take some of that burden off the individual players. And so while I mentioned some players uh, there, you know, I really would have to say that collectively our group uh, is the, the quite good soccer players. And, and uh, you know, I made mention to that earlier. We are in the best physical condition, um, uh, unfortunately. But, um, you know, as a result of that, we've had a little, a little tweak here and a little pull there, but we're trying to work through those things. But I think overall, you know, we, uh, we as I said, we have that balance and it's just about how we use that balance and, and manage those personnel within that. Uh, Lance, expectations are always high uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Trinity Soccer, both on the men's and women's side, but how specific, how do you specifically as a head coach manage those, those high expectations and, and keep, your, keep your ladies focused from game to game, especially coming off uh, another SCAC championship from last year and a, uh, and a very impressive 22-1 season in which you advance all the way to the third round of the NCAA tournament. How do you, how do you keep that focus and maintain that throughout a, throughout a long season? Jeff, we, we, uh, we remind our players that you know, every day they wake up, they have a choice to make, uh, and that choice is very important what they decide to, to, to choose to do on that particular day, uh, whether it be to be better or to be worse. Um, you know, I think philosophically, from, from my standpoint, I believe you're either going to be one or the other. And so, so long as we choose to, to wake up in the morning and be better than we were the day before, then that gives us the opportunity, that gives us the, the foundation from which to move forward. And I think that's important. We talk a lot about accountability and making sure that we understand that each one of us have our roles. And, you know, if, if that's a player that's injured and who's not able to play or train, they've got a role. If that's a player that started every game they've ever played in, in college, that's a role. If there's a player that's coming off the bench, that's a role. Everyone has that role, and they have to be accountable to that. And so what we try to do is, is encourage the kids to understand, um, to accept their role. It doesn't mean they have to limit that role. They can accept it and look to pursue um, you know, and expand that, uh, but certainly within, you know, within the context of the given day, they have to choose to be outstanding, and that's one of the things that we try to encourage them to do and to be mindful of on a, on a daily basis. So when we're starting to talk about long-term objectives or, or season-long objectives, it really has a lot to do with our day-by-day -day decisions, so that, that's where we try to keep things centered. Uh, finally, finally, Lance, uh, what are going to be a few keys for the Tigers as they look to defend their SEAC championship and look to win the program's fourth straight uh, in 2012? Well, I think, as I said, our balance is going to be important. Our ability to share the load uh, and and to fulfill our, our roles and our objectives. You know, some players that I you know didn't mention, and a Katie Lipscomb, um, you know, who's an incoming senior who's played really all over the park for us. Uh, you know, she's she's going to have to really step into um, a more dominant role as an attacking type player for us. And, you know, and I think she's very much capable of doing that. She's, she's well prepared. She's coming nice and fit for the preseason. Um, you know, and some of the players that are new to the program, you know, I refer to Katie as an incoming senior. We've got incoming first years that are also going to have to, to understand that they've been brought in, not just to be participants, um, you know, in, in terms of the overall program, but to be participants on a daily basis, compete in training, compete in games, and really start to, to lift uh, the, the collective, if you will. And I think that that's important. You know, we, we have to understand that we all have that role to play, as I said, and we've talked a lot about those roles uh, this preseason. And I think so long as we can keep those, um, those perspectives in check and make sure that we understand uh, where we're coming from and, and keep just really honest and open communication across the board, I think we're going to be in good shape. Now, we got to, we've got to go out and, and find ways to win games. So, you know, sometimes, you know, people have to, to, to go beyond themselves and really stretch themselves maybe beyond what they thought that role was. And that's what we say, you know, we're not going to limit you with that role. We're going to allow you to expand it. Um, but it's got to be a minimum. It's got to be whatever that, that definition is on that day. It's got to be minimum of that. You know, and then from there, you know, really try to, to compete and bring about the best in ourselves and the players around us. And, and, you know, I think so long as we can manage those things, again, we've got the talent base in place uh, to be successful and to be able to, to do some things that the game is asking us to. It's just a matter of whether we can manage, uh, you know, I think the, um, the pressures or the anxieties or the expectations or whatever those things, you know, that may or may not be out there. Uh, in terms of you know our mental preparation, can we manage all that? And remember, it's a game to play. We know how to play it well. 
uh, and just go out and give it the best that we can and hopefully get the result that, that we feel like we should get. Trinity University women's soccer head coach Lance Key. Lance, thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule today, and uh, best of luck throughout the season. Jeff, thanks so much. I appreciate you setting this up, and I uh, look forward to seeing you soon.